Hello and welcome to Life in Bosnia. I'm David. This is my channel about living as an older person now in a country where I wasn't born in and in a country where the culture is completely different. I'm actually over the age of 70. And in this video, I'd like to talk to you in particular if you're over the age of 40, 50, and in particular about storytelling or you telling your story um, being here on YouTube. Now, I normally have my phone around, so I have notes on it because, yeah, it is the way that it is when you get older. And I also don't want to edit this video at all. So, uh, yeah, you'll see why, because I'm going to mention it later on. If you are over 40 and you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, now is the perfect time to do it. Um, YouTube is promoting creators in our age range. So I'll say 40 or 50 and upwards. YouTube caters for everybody's interests. You can find anything on this. And this platform actually, I think now, is nearly the biggest search engine in the world. It has been for many years the second largest search engine in the world. And like my wife, Tamara, if she wants a recipe, she no longer um, goes to Google search or anything like that to find the recipe. She comes here on YouTube where somebody will show her step by step and she can replay that over and over again. So it's, it's a very valuable resource. And I think that YouTube is a great place for older people to share your knowledge and your experiences. I had thought about writing my memoirs some years ago, but without the imposter syndrome that I always suffer with, and you may do too, like, I can't do that. People won't like it, or I can't do that. It's too difficult. I wanted to write my memoirs, but I am a lousy writer. I was never good at writing <clears throat> back in school, and I don't think I've got the discipline for it. But I've been fortunate in the years that I have been on YouTube that I think that I can use this platform now to tell the stories not only of my life now and the years to come for however many that will be, but also the years back. And I want to do it because the idea of my memoir would be for my grandchildren. My kids know what I've got up to because I remember um, sitting on my grandparents' knees and finding out about the family years before, right back to their grandparents. So what I'd like to do is I want to use this channel now and all the videos I make about my everyday experiences here and some that I'm now including uh, about things before Bosnia that my grandchildren can watch that and say, wow, yeah, that was granddad's life. I must probably think my life, some of my life at least, was boring, but I'm sure... They won't when they see the small trials and tribulations and hurdles that I had to get over. And what was it really like when Grandad went to Bosnia to live? And they'll see that as well. I would like to tell you that the biggest misconception for us older people is that YouTube is a young person's channel. Um, and if you have that, it's going to stop you from sharing all these valuable insights that you have. You don't need to have high-tech equipment. Yes, I finally got myself a good mic, but I didn't really need that, right? Because this device that most of us have now has got everything you need on it. It's got a camera. You can point and shoot from that end. You can turn it round to use the selfie camera. And they're getting better quality, by the way, all the time. And the microphone inside these devices is good too. You don't need to spend any money, a lot of money anyway, a lot of money anyway, on a tripod. You can just pile up books and rest this on top. And then you've got your own sort of makeshift DIY um, selfie stick or tripod. They're so cheap now, actually, that most of us pensioners 
can afford to buy one of those even when we're you know coming out of our, our pension so everything is there you've also got cameras on your laptops if you're using one and i believe uh, a lot of desktops now have inbuilt cameras so you don't have to go spending um a lot of money what i think people and i know actually what, what people like on youtube is authenticity they don't like the or they're getting less liking this picture perfect lifestyle this non-realistic lifestyle so i'm trying to be authentic now by talking to you as if i was if you if we were sat in a coffee bar now we don't edit that do we so i'm not going to edit this so if i am an uh, stumble my words or whatever it's me it's the authentic me and people over 40 appreciate that my your our uh, demographic if you like and younger people as well like that i mean once again if you go back to family settings you don't see young people necessarily ignoring their grandparents they sit there and they soak it in so you don't need to spend much money you can do it like i'm doing it now from the comfort of a room yes i've spent some time with books and everything around me and my womad poster from years ago from a uh, an event that no longer exists and this is like my little cave if you like i'm fortunate not everybody's got that but you can record your videos from your coffee table in the corner of your living room or whatever people will watch your content if you go into starting a youtube channel and i think you should you can do it as a hobby see how it goes and if you start to get subscribers and viewers you know and people start giving you thumbs up and likes and whatever and you get over 1000 or is it 500 subscribers now and so many hours watch time you're able to monetize your channel now there are people on youtube that make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pounds and there are people like me that don't get that even if you were to earn 60 pound a month because that's the minimum payout if you got 60 pound a month that goes some way to helping you especially if you're tight with money being a pensioner i mean you could splash out on a little luxury i don't know ramp up the heater for a little bit more time in the day or maybe buy your grandchildren a little bit more of a gucci birthday present if you wanted to but you can monetize it i have never looked at monetization being my main driver my main driver has been um sharing my stories which uh, if you've stumbled across this channel please go back through the archives a bit you might find it interesting because not many people english language people talk about bosnia and herzegovina from the point of view of me living here and we've all got our unique stories to tell so if you if you found this by chance and you are older do think about well, why can't i do a youtube channel i mean you're already watching which means you've already got a, an account which means you can upload videos straight away if you need help there are a myriad of channels on youtube uh, that you can find information from from other older people some doing it for a hobby some doing it as a retirement business if you'd like me to help you if you feel that i could add some value to you getting started just leave a comment uh, below and i do answer all my comments uh, within 24 hours so thank you very much for watching if you're one of my normal subscribers this is slightly out of sync with the channel but please bear with me more content from bosnia in the next video uh, if you've bumped into me 
from just trawling the internet, trawling um, YouTube. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this to the end. Uh, and maybe you'd like to find out more about Bosnia. And as I said, if you need any help at all with starting a YouTube channel as an older person, just um, get in touch. Right. I've got to uh, start making some more content about Zimnitzer, which is winter food. As I'm recording this, we're getting ready to pickle uh, our garden produce. I think in North America they call it canning. So I've got a dash now. Thank you once again for watching. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. Comments, love to answer them. And if you hit that like thumbs up button, that would make my day. Vidimus opet, which is the local language. It means see you again soon and please stay safe.